Hello. I want to remind you that in my Module 2 lecture, I introduced the triple constraints as a way to explain that because perfect quality requires unlimited time and money, editors must determine acceptable quality level based on the time and money available for a project. In my Module 5 lecture, I introduced a table. That table came from the Editorial Freelancers Association, or EFA. It shows how editors apply the triple constraints when estimating a project. Editors must consider scope, based on the type of editing to be done in the first column, then associate that with time in the second column, and money in the third. Let's consider a few examples for different types of editorial work. First, there are differences based on the level of edit. Basic, what we might call medium copy editing, requires less time, so it costs less per hour compared to developmental or what we've called structural editing. Second example, there are also differences based on the type of material to be edited. For example, layout for a book is a little faster than layout for a newsletter. The same would be true of copy editing a children's book versus a medical dictionary. Third example, there are differences in degrees of edit. Basic, or what we might call medium copy editing of a medical dictionary, takes less time and costs less per hour than heavy copy editing of the same material. So at this point, you should be thinking, okay, I get this in principle. I even understand something about how to decide what level of edit material might need. But how do editors know what degree of editing is needed? Well, in my Module 5 lecture, I also introduced Joshi's process for assessing the quality of technical material. Because his process requires 60 minutes and incorporates assessment of material in a number of complementary ways, I recommended it to you as a means of estimating the degree of editing needed for material. Very quickly, here's what I presented to you as his method. You make a first pass and get first impressions in five minutes. Spend the next 15 minutes skimming. Third pass, you scrutinize. You spend 30 minutes looking at perhaps three different pages in detail. Fourth pass, another overall assessment and perhaps writing up your results. So ultimately, your findings in using this process help you determine the scope of edit you can complete based on what the author or commissioning party is willing to pay for and how much time you can have to complete your editorial work. Let's talk about that in detail a little more. So to begin, it's critical for you to understand that the assignment instructions I gave you for the comprehensive edit include a few critical constraints on your project. One, the material you edit should require multiple levels of edit, both structural, editing, and copy editing. Two, the material you edit should be text heavy. And three, each student editor is expected to put in 25 hours of editorial work on the project over three weeks or so. Your task in the brief proposal is to determine what scope your work can and should accomplish for your client within that time limit. The EFA table and Joshi's assessment process should help you determine what type of editing your materials need, and then to prioritize what you can accomplish within your constraints. To help you estimate the scope of your own comprehensive edit project for TECM 5195, I'm going to take you through the table in the proposal template I provided that's on Canvas. That table references material I've mentioned in several instructional videos. That would be the Integrated Cultural Resources Management Plan, or ICRMP, for the Texas Army National Guard. The first cells I filled in describe the quantity of material. The ICRMP is 19,380 words, 86 pages, includes 18 tables, 6 figures. Microsoft Word easily provides this information. If you're starting with material in a different file format, you have to convert it to Word. This will reduce the amount of time you have for other editorial work. You can add a row in the table for conversion time. Just to be clear, 
Conversion is a serious business in industry. Don't overlook it when estimating the scope of your project. Based on my Joshi-like review of the material, I've decided the ICRMP needs some layout work, plus light content editing and medium or basic organizational editing. That's the level of structural edit. At the level of copy editing, I think the material needs a heavy style edit and a medium or basic mechanical edit. Next, I'm going to convert my qualitative assessment of the material into number of hours and dollar amounts based on the EFA table. The table tells me layout for a book can be done at a rate of 6 to 10 pages per hour. I think my material is more like a book than a newsletter, which was the other choice in the table. There is no exact science here. I'm basing my estimates on my best judgment. Every editor has to start somewhere even when you have little experience. I've decided to figure at 10 pages per hour for my material. That means I'll need 8.6 hours to take care of the 86 pages of layout. I'm not very skilled at layout, so I'm going to charge $40 an hour. That means the total estimate for layout work of the ICRMP is 8.6 times $40 or $344. You'll see I've assigned that work to Saria in the final column here. The EFA table gives me some ranges for the amount of time to do structural and copy editing, anywhere from one to six pages an hour. I'm going with two pages per hour because the material I'm editing needs what I think is a medium organizational edit and a heavy style copy edit. That means I'm going to need 43 hours. I've decided to charge $50 per hour. So the total estimate for editing work of the ICRMP is going to be 43 times $50 or $2,150. I'm not assigning one person to all of those hours. Instead, I'll break the material up into pieces for each editor in the other rows in the table. In this first column, I've determined that ICRMP can be divided up into four parts for my project's purposes. One, I've got front matter that makes up eight pages and includes things like the cover, copyright page, table of contents, etc. Two, the four chapters make up 16 pages and include six tables. Three, 15 appendices make up 38 pages with 12 tables. And finally, four, one appendix labeled F makes up 24 pages all by itself and has all six of the figures in the document. In the final row for Appendix F, I've allocated 12 hours to Saria for her editorial work on that appendix. I've done similar calculations in the other rows. At the bottom of the table, I show the estimated hours required for each editor as well as the total project cost. Note that in my example, everything worked out perfectly for two editors on the project. However, if the ICRMP was 10 pages longer, let's say, I might reduce the degree of style editing to medium instead of heavy, even though I know heavy would be best. But I also know that I only have a certain number of hours to spend. I could copy edit more pages per hour if I did medium style editing instead of heavy. That's something I would need to tell the client before I accepted the job. I could also offer the client another option, say, omit the layout work. That would save me eight and a half hours. As I said a minute ago, there is no exact science here. Every editor has to start somewhere. Managing the editor-author relationship requires that you be clear about the scope of the work you're doing before you start. Good luck estimating your first editorial project.